Welcome to Spidell's Federal Tax Minute. I'm your host, Katherine Zidane, and this week we're covering one of the provisions of the new Secure 2.0 Act, which deals with Section 529 plan rollovers to Roth accounts. The Secure 2.0 Act includes many retirement-related provisions that both your individual and business clients need to know. Our Secure 2.0 Act webinar on February 3rd has detailed information on all of the new provisions, and you'll find out when each one goes into effect. See which provisions we cover and get registered at spidel.com under webinars. The 350-page Secure 2.0 Act of 2022 contains retirement provisions that expand on the original Secure Act passed in 2019. Under one provision, individuals who have maintained IRC Section 529 accounts for at least 15 years can make a direct trustee-to-trustee rollover from the 529 plan to the beneficiary's Roth IRA, effective for distributions made after December 31, 2023. The exclusion only applies to the amount contributed to the 529 plan and earnings attributable thereto before the five-year period ending on the date of the distribution. Hopefully, this will encourage individuals who might have been concerned about leftover funds being trapped in 529 accounts or be subject to penalties to continue to make contributions to 529 plans to pay for escalating education costs. Rollovers from 529 plans toward a taxpayer's Roth IRA count toward the taxpayer's annual IRA contribution limits, which is $6,500 for 2023. But the Roth contribution AGI limit does not apply to these rollovers. Rollovers from a 529 plan are subject to an aggregate lifetime limit of $35,000 per beneficiary. As an example, assume that Michaela's parents opened a Section 529 college savings account for her on her 10th birthday with $10,000. They contributed an additional $10,000 on each birthday until she turned 18, totaling $90,000 in contributions over nine years. When she started college, her account balance was $150,000 after factoring in investment growth. Michaela attended a state school with lower tuition costs and graduated from college at 22 years old. The balance of her 529 account was $42,000 when she graduated, comprised of $26,000 of contributions and $16,000 of earnings. If Michaela withdraws the balance of her account, she'll have $16,000 of taxable income that's also subject to a 10% penalty for not using the 529 funds for eligible expenses. The Secure 2.0 Act allows Michaela to make annual trustee-to-trustee Roth IRA rollovers up to $35,000 over her lifetime. She cannot roll over the entire $35,000 at once because the rollovers are subject to the regular annual IRA contribution limits of $6,500 for 2023. The maximum IRA contribution limit is reduced if Michaela makes other IRA contributions or doesn't have sufficient earned income. But the AGI limitation for Roth contributions is not taken into account. So if Michaela works a high-paying job out of college, she can still make the Roth IRA contributions from her 529 account. Also, because Michaela's parents started her account at age 10, she has to wait until age 25 to make the rollover contributions because the Secure 2.0 Act requires that her account be at least 15 years old. In addition to the Secure 2.0 Act webinar, we have webinars on stock incentive plans on February 2nd and our quarterly federal tax update webinar on February 8th. For more information on any of these sessions, go to spidel.com and click webinars. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another episode of Spidel's Federal Tax Minute.